First episode of my new series, Dinner at Five. Today we're making chicken piccata. It's Italian. So you want a separate cutting board, one that you can throw in a dishwasher. It just makes it so much easier. And I have boneless, skinless, organic chicken breast. You could use whatever you want. I actually like the taste better. That's why I use organic. One and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. You just wanna take your chicken breast, place your hand right on top, and have it lengthwise. Dry the chicken really well on heavy duty paper towels. So there's a lot of moisture on chicken, and if we don't, it'll steam in the pan, and we wanna get a nice little golden sear. About a third cup all-purpose flour. One teaspoon granulated garlic, kosher salt, pepper. So this is our dredging flour. So you just wanna give it a whisk like that. Before we season the chicken, before we coat the chicken, we're gonna prep the rest of our ingredients because it's gonna happen really, really quick. This is quick cooking. One large shallot. So we'll prep the ingredients together, minced. Two lemons. Now the trick is don't grab any of the pith. It smells so good. So see that? No white part, no pith. Makes it bitter. Roll the lemon, it loosens the juice. It makes it so much easier when you go to squeeze it, releasing all that juice. Quarter cup. One to one and a half tablespoon capers. You wanna rinse them really well and get rid of that brine. And six tablespoons of unsalted butter. So you want it to be cold, and I'll show you how to not break the sauce. And just cut it into little pats. Like that. Pop this back into the refrigerator. We actually don't need this until the end when we make our sauce. If you don't chop your parsley right now, you tend to get a little hectic and you get sidetracked that when you're done the dish, you say to yourself, forget it. You're not even gonna add the parsley because you've got 10 other things going on. So we're gonna do it now. So that way we have it, because it really does make a difference. It adds a fresh element to the dish. Don't be lazy. Grab it in a bunch, nice and tight, so that way it's not flying all over your kitchen. Chop it. Saute pan. Season the chicken on both sides lightly with kosher salt. Freshly cracked black pepper. So we don't want it to be clumpy. We want a nice, thin coating, like that. So the flour works twofold. It helps create a nice, thin crust on the chicken when we go to sear it, and then at the end, it will thicken the sauce. Heat your skillet over medium heat. Three tablespoons, olive oil. So this is gonna create a delicious, fruity flavor. If you used avocado oil, it would be a neutral flavor. The olive oil is gonna impart a nice, fruity flavor. Heat the pan first, one minute. Add the oil, heat it. Once it starts to shimmer, and you'll sort of see it sort of dance, so come here, I'll show you. So once you see a little shimmering movement to the oil, it's good to go. That's the sound you want. So you want it to sear immediately. So don't touch it, two minutes. We're gonna just par cook it at this point. Now it becomes stick free. That's what you want, right there. Sear the other side one to one and a half minutes. So remove the chicken, let it set aside. The pan's a little dry, add a little more oil, and do the second batch. Two tablespoons of oil still in the pan are shallots into the pan. So we're just gonna saute them until you can smell them about 30 seconds. So my homemade chicken stock deglaze and a quarter cup lemon juice. Once it reduces by half, it happens really quick. Add the capers, lemon peel, add the chicken back in. This is how we're gonna finish cooking it. And honestly, it takes two minutes, tops, just to finish cooking the chicken. See that juice on the plate? Add it. Don't overcook it, it'll be rubbery. Grab a platter, remove the chicken, keep the sauce in the pan. Grab your butter. Reduce the heat to low. So this is how we're gonna control the butter. So we don't wanna break it. It's nice and cold. We're gonna make an emulsification. We have a lot of butter, right? Six tablespoons. But this is a nice sort of lemony sauce. This butter will cut through that sauce and mellow out that citrusy flavor, that lemony flavor. Keep swirling the pan. Grab a rubber spatula. You want movement. Keep moving it. You can even cradle the heat 
on and off the heat. So a lot of times you guys always ask me, what's it mean don't break the sauce? This is what it means, don't break the sauce. So if you heat this too hot, it'll separate the butter and then your sauce will be oily and it won't be velvety. So just sort of cradle it on and off the heat. Keep stirring. Once it's fully melted, you're good to go. See that, that's a beautiful velvety sauce. It's not greasy, it's not oily. Then finish it with parsley because you're fancy. Come on, look at that. That is beautiful. Chicken piccata. Pair it with your favorite vegetable, rice. I like it with just a salad and bread. Simple, keep it simple, let's taste it. Chicken is super tender, it's bright, it's savory, it's perfectly balanced because we added that butter. Sauce, beautifully velvety. You got this, just don't break the sauce. Simple, easy, fresh, delicious. Buon appetito, see you next time.